30th high school reunion. She asked me why I was asked to speak. She said, you know, are you the most successful? And I said, no. And she said, were you homecoming queen? And I said, no. Well, last night I was speaking to Wanda Warwick Basil, and she said, well, we asked the president and the vice president of the class to speak. And I, I'm thanking Wanda for letting me know why I was asked to speak, because I had no clue why I was. <laughs> So my topic is, um, what legacy will you leave behind? Folks, we're almost 50. So for most of us, we're um, halfway through our lives. Yeah, it likes it. But um, um, we're not going to win the Pulitzer Prize. I'm not going to be an American Idol. I'm not going to be president. So what will people say about you? What will they say about you to your face? What will they say about you next year? Or what will they say about you when you're not on this earth? If you had to write your own memoir, or if you could tell someone about yourself, what would be the most important thing you would say, or what, what you would write down? What kind of legacy would you leave? Your family. If, if someone did an interview with your family, what would they say about you? Would they say you're loving? Are you patient, kind, forgiving? Do you spend time with them? Do you show them how much they mean to you? Family members are often the time that we take for granted. Sometimes we treat the strangers in the Walmart parking lot better than we treat the people we care about. Men, when was the last time you showed your wife you loved her? Spent time with her, took her to dinner, sent her flowers, made her feel like she's number one. Remember at one time you were wishy eyed in love with her. Ladies, I know he's gained a few extra pounds and he's lost the paper. But is that guy still your number one? <laughs> if you let him know you still believe in him and that you still adore him. Parents, have you spent time with your kids? And for some of us, great little Do they trust you? Do they know you accept them no matter what? Your children need discipline, but they also need your time. Before my husband and I got married, my dad gave um, what I call a sharp minute speech to my husband. Five minutes before he got married, he took George aside with my mother standing there, and he said, George, I just want to let you know, there's six kids in my family, three of them are sharks, and three of them are minnows. And I just want to let you know you're marrying one of the sharks. <laughs> and, and George said, Dr. Sheeler, Dr. Sheeler, why are you telling me this five minutes before we get married? My dad said, I just want to let you know, if you get in her way, she will chew you up. <laughs> so, um, I've matured, fortunately, in my family and my personal life, and I really, I've realized that the golden rule truly really does apply, and it works better. So do unto others as you have, have, would have them do unto you. What kind of legacy are you leaving with your family? Your friends. Now, I'm not talking about gossip, like they say, gosh, your hair's so blonde. I'm talking about... What would your friends really say about you? Are you forgiving? Are you trustworthy? When you tell your friends something, do they know you can keep it in confidence? Are you dependable? What kind of example do you set for them? What about other people? Are you the person at the meeting that people cringe when you stand up to speak? Do you go the extra mile at, at work? Or do you just do just enough to get by? When you're walking down the hallway, do people run from you, or do they look bored to greet you? Are you encouraging, positive, loving, or forgiving? So how do you leave a legacy we're proud of? Well, we just have to admit that we need to change. It's kind of like diet um, and eating right. We know that if you're 18, if you're 80, you can make a change in your life. You have been that old cranky person before, but you can change. You've been mean, but you can change. Some of us don't want to change. Our attitudes, reactions, how we treat people, it has become our identity. Well, just because people expect you to act a certain way doesn't mean you have to. You may say, to Tina, I'm always going to sway. I'm going to say, who can you become? Do you need to make some changes in your life? How do you treat others? Are you leaving a legacy of love or a path of destruction? <coughs> Accept the queen's way. All of us make mistakes in our lives. Are you sorry for them? If you are, ask for forgiveness and move forward. Your past is your past.
you pass because it's behind you. We oftentimes will beat up ourselves over our mistakes. Accept your queen's way and make a fresh start. Yes. <laughs> Admit that you can't do it on your own. We can't leave, leave a legacy of love without the help of others. We try, but we fail. Tell your family, friends, and co-workers that you want to make a change and ask for their guidance and encouragement. Pursue this new life with passion. Begin to look for ways to help others first. Volunteer for something. Little league, meals on wheels, Sunday school, scouting. Give money to charity. Give whatever you can to an organization that you're choosing. Most folks can't give a lot of money, but whatever you give, give unselfishly. Your motto should be, I'm not number one. Make right friendships that have been hurt. Give up the need to always be right. Be the bigger person. Spend more time with your family, be a team player, and be there for a friend. If you do these things, the legacy you leave will be one of love. What kind of legacy are you leaving? If it is not a good one now, you still have time, but not much. <laughs>